everybody video here for you today this goes along with my ancient america series i did a video on the lovelock cave mummies not too long ago today we're going to go down where the spirit cave mummy was found this mummy was found right down in this area and hidden cave is another name for this but here is a look at the area pretty remote wilderness today what it was like 10,500 years ago well Probably a totally different landscape, but there was a mummy found in here, and at the time, the oldest mummy found in North America, but that probably needs to be rewritten, or it depends how you classify mummy, but remains found here. Let's just read. But here's a story that just came out today. Ancient skulls from Mexico, surprisingly diverse. Study challenges assumptions about the settlement of the Americas, and they took some skulls that were found between nine and 13,000 years ago and did just comparative studies on them. It says the remains add an important piece to the puzzle of early North American populations, challenging simplified models depicting human migrations and settlements of the Americas. We always assumed that what was happening in South America was true in North America. Now we need to revise that. The study of these rare remains illustrates that we are probably still underestimating the biological diversity in early Americans and suggests that the process of human occupation of North and South America was much more complex than previously thought. And that brings us to the Spirit Cave Mummy. This is Ancient Origins, and this story comes from about 15 months ago. And what you're looking at here is a facial reconstruction based on the skull, 10,600-year-old man guesses on what he looked like. Here's how the spirit cave mummy was found. This was found in the 1940s. And when it was originally found, they thought this was maybe 1,500, 2,000 years old. But on the story from ancient origins, it said at least three different streams came in to North and South America. Did one of these just come up from Mesoamerica? But it says the Clovis people who first arrived in the Americas 13,000 years ago were almost entirely re replaced by a subsequent wave of people around 9,000 years ago. The new evidence, according to the geneticist who was working for the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History and the co-author of three scientific papers, published proves that nearly all Central and South Americans arose from a star-like radiation of the first lineage into at least three branches. That story kind of relates to this one on Biotechnique's website. I will leave the link below. But it says, a recent study has used DNA sequencing to prove the ancestry of Native American tribe and document the migration of humanity through the Americas. There is the Spirit Lake mummy how it was found. It says, a study co that concluded in 2016 but had its results embargoed until November 2018 has brought a resolution to a 20-year lawsuit and shed new light on the spread of humanity through North and South America. The study was led by Eski Willislev of Cambridge University and the University of Denmark and used advanced DNA sequencing to establish the genetic heritage of the spirit cave mummy. The spirit cave mummy was discovered in the Great Basin Desert in the 1940s and was originally thought to be between 1,500 and 2,000 years old. Following hair and textile testing in the 1990s, the body was in fact found to be 10,600 years old. The Native American Fallon Paiute Shoshone tribe, which is based near the burial site, claimed cultural affiliation and requested the remains to be returned for burial under the Native American Graves Protection and Reparation Act. Ancestry was disputed by anthropologists arguing that the remains were vital to understanding the first inhabitants of North America and should be displayed in a museum. The request was refused and a resulting lawsuit ended in a deadlock between the tribe and the federal government. 20 years later, Willis Love leading an international study to analyze the DNA of 15 ancient genomes from important and controversial remains spanning the region from Alaska to Patagonia obtained permission of the tribe to carry out sequencing tests on DNA from the spirit cave mummy. 
ensuring members of the tribe were kept well informed and present when samples were taken. Willislev extracted DNA of the Petrus bone from the mummy's skull. After sequencing the DNA, the team found that the Fallon Paiute Shoshone were in fact descendants of the 10,600 year old mummy. The remains were returned and a reburial service was conducted at the beginning of this year with Willislev present. And I believe this story is from 2018. It says, the results of the overall study have a greater impact than one lawsuit, however, providing an insight into the migration of historic humans across the Americas. The study revealed that the populations often separated from one another and moved in small groups. A particular fascinating discovery was the identification of a significant genetic link between the 10,600 Spirit Cave mummy in Nevada and the 10,400-year-old Lagoa Santa remains in southwest Brazil, signifying that it took roughly 200 years for these groups of early humans to travel a distance of over 6,000 miles. So they found a link between the Spirit Cave mummy in Nevada and remains found in Brazil. So they are trying to guesstimate, well, it only took them 200 years to move from here to here, but there are other answers that are also presented when looking at those facts. These findings implied that the first peoples were highly skilled at moving rapidly across utterly unfamiliar and empty landscape. They had whole continent for themselves and they were traveling great distances at breathtaking speeds, explains David Meltzer of Southern Methodist University in Texas, who was in on this study. The researchers also found an Australasian ancestry in some of the South American populations after the Spirit Cave Lagoa Santa split. Information that, according to first author on the paper, Victor Marino Mayar, means groups carrying this genetic signal were either already present in South America when North Americans reached the region or Australasian groups arrived later. That this signal has not been previously documented in North America implies that an earlier group possessing it had disappeared or a later arriving group passed through North America without leaving any genetic trace. The study also goes on to reveal the populations from Mesoamerica emigrated into North and South America about 8,000 years ago, mixing with existing populations and leading to contemporary groups now observed in both regions. With all this new genomic information, there are a whole host of new questions and puzzles that need solving to explain some of the genetic traces and inconsistencies that are our only recordings of some extraordinary chapters in human history. But here is Professor Vilsalev with two members of the Fallon Paiute Shoshone tribe. But it says, our studies of the Spirit Cave Mummy and the Lagoa Santa skeletons have revealed groundbreaking new information on how ancient humans moved and settled across North and South America as well. A striking thing about the analysis of Spirit Cave and Lagoa Santa is their close genetic similarity, which implies their ancestral population traveled through the continent at astonishing speed. Now here is a look at the Spirit Cave mummy, and it seems like when we go searching for answers, more questions pop up on how the Americas were populated, a genetic link to remains in South America, well, that just opens up a whole new set of questions. But a lot of new work has been done in this area of when people first came to the Americas or when population waves really populated North and South America. But it says here, the peopling of America is a new archaeological and genetic evidence is fleshing out the story. But I will leave this link below and it kind of goes into the same story much more complicated story of how the Americas became populated than what we have been taught. But what you are looking at is the excavations at the 15,000-year-old Deborah L. Freakin site in 2016. And I did a video on the Galt site, one of my more popular videos in my Ancient America series. But this site is about 250, 300 meters downstream on the Buttermilk Creek from the Galt site in Texas. Here are some of the older remains that have been found all the way up from Canada down to Texas here. The Spirit Cave, 10,400 years old, and there's a little bit of a window there, but 
I have talked about the Anzic Child uh, Pelican Rapids. I believe that is the video I made on Minnesota Woman. I've talked about Kennewick Man, but here are a few other listed old findings. But it says, comparing the DNA profiles and looking for similarities in the ancient remains found from Alaska to Patagonia helped the research team understand how humans moved through the region in ancient history. A second study published in Cell Thursday studied genetic changes over the last 11,000 years, finding genetic relationships between samples from Chile and Brazil and those found in Montana from similar time periods. And the Anzic child coming from Montana, right in the middle of the Younger Dryas period, how did that child die and what did those people who were associated with that child see in that area of the world in that time period? That's pretty, pretty incredible to think about. But an Austral-Asian connection, can that really be explained without sea travel? If there's really no genetic marker of it through North America, well, that's a serious question that needs to be asked. The spirit cave mummy coming from over 10,000 years ago, well, he was part of a study and then tried to really get a handle on when people came to the Americas and really it just opened up more questions. Seemed to be a story that is much more complex than we can even imagine right now and hopefully further studies will shed some new light on this. But with new research, the Anzic child in Montana and the spirit cave mummy here from Nevada being connected through genetic research to remains coming from over 10,000 years ago in South America. That is my video on the spirit cave mummy, over 10,000 years old, interesting DNA studies were done. A lot of work still has to be done in that field, but hope you thought that was interesting. You all have very nice day.